what we're going to do is we're going to go to, let's go to, let's go to, let's go to audiences. Let's go to audiences. So today what we'll do real quick is we'll set up our custom audiences and our custom conversion. Okay. Um, now you still need to wait on the actual buyer's guide from, from them, but mm -hmm. at least we can get everything set up. Okay. So now always make sure you're in the right account, which you are S3 decree. That's right there at the top left. So now we're going to go to, let's go to audiences. So three lines to the left and let's click on audiences. Okay, cool. So this is something that you'll just always want to get in the habit of the moment you create something, a page, the moment you create a page and a video and a video, this is the next step. Go and create your audiences. Okay. Okay. So create audience, the blue one, and then we're going to go, um, we're going to go custom audience and then we'll go with website because we're going to do these two pages. So we'll go website next. And then this one here, which tab did you, um, or which link did you copy first? Was it the thank you page or the, the thank you page? Okay. So then let's do that one first. So the events, all website visitors hit that drop down, go to specific. And then, um, yeah, that second one down, specific web pages. And then the retention, max that out at 180. So these are people who have landed on the thank you page. These are leads. So I want 180 as the max. I want Facebook to keep these people in this audience as long as possible because this is a lead. I don't ever need to retarget them. Or actually, I could retarget them in the future, but a lot of times you'll exclude this audience from, from new ads. So 180, the max for sure. And then um, go ahead and get the link. But you're not gonna, you're not gonna paste in the whole link. So just get the domain, just the word, just the letters. I mean, actually, it's all letters, but just the S3 decree. Yeah, everything after the www. So double click, open the whole thing up. Yeah, and then just just the S3. So just yeah, S3 and on. Yeah, just that. So this is this is the thank you page. Okay, cool. So copy that, bring that over to Facebook. Where is my Facebook? Okay, there it is. I'm like, oh no, did I get out of there? Tell me paste I didn't do that. The value there. So right at the bottom, paste in the link and then you're going to give it a name and this is simply buyer guide leads. So scroll down, audience name, buyer guide leads. Okay, that's it. Create audience and let's do the next one. Okay, create audience. Okay, cool. So now um, done and then do it again the blue button, create audience. And, and this will be for the main audience. page. Okay. Yeah. So website and then next. Okay. Now, since you already have the thank you page link copied, we're going to do that one first. So here at the top, leave that as is scroll to the bottom, exclude people, click on exclude people. Nope. Leave that as is exclude. Nope. Exclude. Right here. Yep. So scroll Let's down see. and then all website visitors, change that to specific, change the okay. retention to 180 and then paste in that link. Okay. This is the thank you page. Okay. So now go back up to the top and then all website visitors hit that drop down, go to specific. You're always going to specific. Okay. Always specific. The retention 30 days, now, these are people who are, we're creating an audience for those who land on the opt-in page, but do not opt-in. Okay. 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 And we're, and those we're, are the people we want to exclude from the same ad. No. Okay. This is the audience of those who have landed on the opt-in page, but haven't opted in. So these people need to see it again, maybe. These people need to be seen many, it. a million more times. They, you always want to retarget this audience. Okay. So, but the retention, I'm going to, yeah, we'll leave it at 30. We'll leave it. So, so the top, these are people who have landed. So get the, get the, get the link for the opt-in page. So go to, go to one of these tabs at the top. Um, I think it's the other tab to the left. Or no, it might not be that one. Which one? Yeah. Did you even this, copy this it? This is this is the um get this link. Yeah, home loans. Yeah, get this one. So double click it, only the S3. Okay, so so yeah, so copy that. Okay, cool. So bring that over now. Now 
this is the top part. So we're telling the top part within a 30 day period, these are people who have landed on this opt-in page. So paste in that link at the top, paste in that link right there. Yeah, paste it in right there. These are people who have landed on that page, but they've never landed on the thank you one. That's below. Okay, they never landed on the bottom one. So scroll down, give it a name. This is this is buyer guide visitors only or vi- buyer guide page visitors only, whatever you want. Name that's bottom. this initial all the way at the bottom. Audience okay. name. Yeah. So buyer guide visitors only or buyer guide page visitors only. However you want to name that. I'll remember if I have a name okay, like that. Perfect. So create audience. Those are your two audiences. Okay. So okay. opt-in page, thank you page. That's it. From this point on, you'll probably always want to hit done. You'll always want to retarget those who have engaged somewhat, but haven't opted in. Okay. And, and that's always, the same as this here. Same seller guide there. pages. Yeah. yeah. But, but see now, now your now your budget is going in different ways. So now, now it's different audiences. So and they're two different types of people, a seller versus a buyer, two completely different people, right? Mm-hmm. So so now you'll just, you'll just, yeah, you'll just be juggling these different audiences versus having all of them on this one damn campaign. And now, now I'm just going after this one type of person and all my money and resources go into that one type. That's mm-hmm. much easier, man. Like, but now you're, but, but it, it is what it is. And, and now we're, pivoting and going different directions and that's cool but I, I i want you to just master one first like master one because it takes a shitload just to do one you know um but but it's all good now we'll bounce to buyers and now we'll just start creating some audiences around that so now when it's when it comes to this campaign you'll start retargeting page visitors only and you'll start excluding buyer guide leads got it simple okay got so it. now now we got to create the custom conversion the custom conversion is around the thank you page. So let's go three lines um, in the top left and go to events manager. Oops. Okay, so events manager. And then we're going to hover over the triangle to the left and we're going to go to custom conversions. Hover over that blue triangle and then just go custom conversions. Okay. Okay, cool. So now over here, this is active. This is your conversion. Go ahead and click away. Click. Yeah. Okay. So this is your seller guide leads. So mm-hmm. now we're going to create another one. So create custom conversion. And then um, and then right here at the top, you're going to name it. So this is this is buyer guide leads. Same. I'll name the custom conversion around this. Uh, I'll name it the same name that I named the custom audience. Mm-hmm. of that thank you page. This is the thank you page, right? So whatever I name the custom audience, I'll, I'll name it the same as a custom conversion. So um, so that's the name, buyer guide leads. And then S3 decree, that's the data source, the green dot, that's the pixel, the event, leave that all URL traffic, and then select your own category. So hit that, select your own category. And we're going to hit the drop down recommended, and we're going to go down a lead. So these are all different conversion events that one can run an ad for. Um, so we'll just leave it as, as lead. That's fine. And then now get the link for the thank you page, just the link, not the, or just the domain, I should say, not the anything else, just just the. I, I think I exited out of it. Hold on for just a second. Sorry. So just yeah. the, yeah, get coder link. Okay. So just, yeah, perfect. So just the S3 and on. Okay. Okay. So now that goes in right there. Um, and then we'll create, and then it's going to take us through a few steps. So go to what? No, 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 no. Go to web configurations. Okay, cool. So now over here, we're going to simply click on that S3 decree and then manage events, edit. And then we're going to hit the green one, add event. Okay, now hit the drop down to the left, custom conversion, and then you're going to choose the event and it's going to be the buyer guide leads. And then apply the blue one. 
Yes, I confirm. And you're good. So now this was now, so now hover over um, the triangle to the left and then click on um, custom conversions. So now this one right here will be inactive. So now go to the actual thank you page and refresh that page. I need to open it up in a second, another browser. Okay. Okay, so now Facebook just read the conversion and sometimes it happens instantly, sometimes it takes a few minutes, but go back to the, to the Facebook one and then just refresh this page. Bam, active. Okay, cool. So now we're ready to go. Any nice. questions on custom audiences or custom conversion? It was good to see it again. I have to watch your videos, but I don't think I have all of them, the ones that you made for us. So yeah, I'll send you this one for sure. This, this is always your custom. I don't conversion. think we recorded this one. Okay, good. So then it's always based on the thank you page right here that, that all you're telling Facebook is, is the most important page to get people to. And that's the thank you page, bottom line. Awesome. Okay, that's your custom conversion. Awesome. So this one ran, I got 19 leads from this one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not running this one anymore. I'm going to run the CMA one. So this will just kind of be here. Do I need well, to keep we'll it another? Out? No, you need to create another custom conversion for the CMA because it's a whole different page, whole different link, whole different funnel. Got it. So these are your, your, your common practices before you go run an ad is, is make sure the pages are linked, make sure they're set up as custom audiences. In fact, you know what? One other audience, um, make sure the setup is custom audiences and then make sure the thank you page is set up as a custom conversion. Okay. That's it. And you have, and you have, um, like if I ever needed to refresh my memory on that whole process we just did, I could like watch a tutorial from you. Yeah, well, I'm recording this right now for you. Are you? Yeah, this is recorded. So hit the three okay. lines to the left and go back to audiences. One thing you want to do real quick is set up the audience around the video. That's one thing we didn't do. So is it a video ad? Is it a video post? Yes. Okay, cool. And I have the ad copy done. Okay. So create audience. Always do the custom audience around that video. So custom audience, video. That's right. I remember you saying name the video something you'll remember. Yeah. So go ahead and choose. And then here, what I, how long is the video? Like a minute? How long? How long? It's 48 seconds, I believe. Okay, 40 seconds. Maybe maybe track everyone who watches 15 seconds. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, it is 48 seconds. seconds. Yeah, do, do 15 seconds. And then um, choose video right in the top right. Okay, and then hit your drop down there, Facebook page, and go down to your page. Oh, I got to post the video on my page first, don't I? Yeah, and yeah, it needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be on the page. Okay, I'm going to post but, it now. Okay, so then you'll see it here. You'll just check that box. You'll hit confirm in the bottom right, and that's it. Okay, so now um, when I post it on my page, do I have to make it public? Yeah, or can sure. it? Yeah, yeah, post it like a regular post. Get it going. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So you'll see it there. You'll see it here, and, and, and that's it. That's custom audiences and your custom conversion. Okay, cool. I'm 